Hi, everyone. My name is Jess, and I just wanted to put out a super quick tutorial on how I multi-stream to Twitch and TikTok at the same time. I know for different people, there are different methods. Uh, I'm not saying that this is the only way or the way that you should. I am just saying this is what I do, and this is what works for me. I've been doing it this way now for quite a few months, and I have seen um, really great growth and so many benefits from multi-streaming. I do need to be upfront at the top and say, as I have been doing this for a while, I have found less benefits in multi-streaming and honestly, way more engagement by streaming to TikTok by itself and then streaming to both TikTok and Twitch at the same time. Um, just because, you know, as, a, as an audience member, as a user, it's not really fun to sit on TikTok and watch a Twitch streamer not talk to you. Um, sometimes that engagement is really important into bringing people over to Twitch. So I will go live specifically to TikTok to kind of point people into where my main platform is. Um, again, that's just how I do things. You could do things your own way. Streaming, there's no one path, right? Everyone has their own, their own method to the madness. Um, I've seen for multi-streaming people use two computers or I've heard of streamers who go live to TikTok on slobs and then uh, OBS is for Twitch. If that works for you, that's amazing. I was worried about my CPU, so I decided not to do it that way. And instead, I Googled a multi-streaming tool. Uh, personally, the first one I found on Google and the one that I've been using because it was just the first one I clicked on and it hasn't given me any issues is called Restream.io. Let me show you what this looks like. So this is the website that I use, Restream.io. There's no download included. You just go to the website. I pay a membership monthly. Uh, you can see right up here, maybe at the top, there's a annual subscription offer. I just haven't done that yet because I, I don't know, there are lots of other tools that I might try out, especially if you guys let me know down below what you use. If anyone has any recommendations, I'm open to learning always. Um, so I pay monthly for this restreaming tool. Now, how it works, and I imagine if you know, you're know you on any similar type of website to this, a multi-streaming website, it'll probably look about the same or we'll use the same terminology. So um, if you're not using Restream.io, if you have another platform that you're using, uh, just uh, look for like the same words. It, sh it should be the same because they're all doing the same thing. So I just start, I go into the studio and I have connected my OBS virtual camera. There is also a Streamlabs virtual camera. All that does is it picks up your stream. So everything you're seeing, it'll show on this stream now, um, but it lets me add little text and things, which is just really fun. Um, I wish it was more customizable, but it, it isn't. Uh, that's one downfall of using Restream um, and you're kind of stuck to certain fonts and things. I'm just not like crazy about what it offers, but it gets the job done. So again, on screen, I like to put, hey, I'm live on Twitch and here's where you can find me. Um, I've heard rumors that TikTok doesn't really love you typing link in bio or live on Twitch. Um, in your information section. So I didn't know if it would pick up on that and suppress me. So I just don't do that anymore. And, and this is how I choose to tell people where I am. Uh, so how I'm doing this, you will need a TikTok stream key. I don't know exactly how to get one. I was reached out to by TikTok. They wanted me to come stream on their platform. So they gave me a stream key. Uh, they had a gaming creator program recently that I'm sure they will be getting stream keys. Uh, as of now, I think you have to have over 100,000 followers. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure where they're going to take the program. They're still in beta now. So hopefully more stream keys will be available to more people in the future. I have also heard about live agencies that work contracted with TikTok to reach out to find creators to bring in more talent. So if you get reached out to, please do your research. I cannot verify who works for TikTok and what is a scam. Again, ask your friends around or even better, if you have a stream key and you didn't get it directly from TikTok, please let us know down below how or where you got it so we can verify that things aren't scams because it can be scary out there. Um, so once you do have your TikTok key, you're gonna go to your TikTok Live Center. It looks like this now. It didn't used to look like this. They just recently changed it. Um, but you can see all the stream settings. Is it a mature stream? Will you want gifts? Is it subs only? Um, and then of course you change your title over here. All you're looking for on this screen right now is the server URL and the stream key, which you will see right here. The issue is these don't show until you go live. So different from Twitch, where Twitch, you can go see your stream key anytime and you can put it in your OBS and you can set it up beforehand. TikTok doesn't let you do that right now. 
So every time you go live, you click go live on TikTok, there's a really weird gap of like missing information where you're live, but nothing is being fed. Nothing is being communicated to TikTok, which is why you need this key in this URL. So uh, I like to prepare this way by having a BRB screen or like a waiting screen, something there. So whenever it does decide to start picking up the feed, it's not just my face and I'm like in the middle of setting things up. You know how that goes. If you're a streamer, you know how that goes. Um, so once you hit go live on TikTok, you're live. You need to copy and paste the server URL and the stream key, and you're going to put it into your multi-streaming tool. Now for Restream IO, that's super simple. You just look for destinations and you're going to use a custom RTMP. So in multi-streaming services, usually you can pick destinations. So you can see down here, I have my Twitch linked right here. You can just connect it to your Twitch. Um, but for TikTok, uh, they haven't worked with these uh, tools long enough to just be able to connect like that. So it's our responsibility as the streamer to put in our stream key every time you go live. It doesn't save as of right now, as of September 13th, 2022, I am still copy and pasting my stream key and my server URL every time before I go live. It's just how it is. Um, so you're going to open up a custom RTMP. If you don't know, RTMP is the language that these programs are using to communicate a live stream. It pushes out your audio, pushes out your video. Um, you're going to put it into the RTMP URL and your stream key URL. You're just going to copy and paste, copy and paste them right there, just like you would do for OBS. Um, but you have to add an extra step. Uh, I remember go, go kind of quick cause you are live on TikTok right now. So you don't want to be leaving your live up with no information getting pushed out. I can't imagine on a user end, it's really fun to open up a live stream and see nothing. Um, so you've added your destination. You still have to click go live. You have to click go live in the multi-stream itself to let it know, okay, now it's time to push out the information through the RTMP to TikTok. I hope that makes sense. I feel like I'm like dumbing this down, but also speaking really quickly. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Um, but this means you are only live on TikTok. You still have to go click go live in your OBS or in your slobs to go live to Twitch. Uh, but after you do that, you're live in both places. And essentially all you're doing is sending this feed with your virtual webcam and whatever mic you plug into the multi-streaming tool, you're just sending that to TikTok. And now you're live in two places. Um, again, sorry, this was super quick and super rest. I just wanted to show everyone how I do it. Uh, and I didn't think it needed an entirely you know, like 20 minute tutorial. This was just super quick. Let me know how you are multi-streaming. Let me know the benefits, the downfalls of multi-streaming down below. I'd love to hear all your thoughts and opinions. This has been really cool. And TikTok is responsible for uh, all of my Twitch growth, especially over the past couple months. So uh, thanks Twitch for letting us restream and do this because it really helps fix the discoverability problem on Twitch. Uh, if you want to find me, I'm BB Jess on Twitch, BB Jess TTV, everywhere else, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, you know how this works. Um, thanks for watching. Again, let me know everything down below and I'm going to shut up and I'm going to leave now. Okay. Bye everybody.